1% of the water that we currently have. How do we handle this? We're not going to be able to store water. This is the part that really blew my mind, really, is looking on my phone because this is where this is where it starts to really get interesting. So I'm looking in, I'm researching, and I find out there's two more parts of this that are very powerful. It says the waters were poisonous. 1% of the water that we currently have. What's up, guys? I just had the craziest dream last night. So for those of you who don't know, we do online dream interpretation, teaching people to interpret their own dreams. And so I'm somewhat familiar with dream interpretation. That being said, and I had this dream that I woke up to and it was clearly a prophetic dream and it was very significant dream. I knew when I woke up like this dream is very significant. And so in the dream, I'm walking through the grocery store and I see this big sign. It's almost like a huge billboard that all, all of a sudden showed up. And on this billboard, it said 1% ceramic. And then underneath it, it said a soon coming water shortage. So I knew this was a water shortage in the dream that was coming very soon. And so I got together with my brother and my mother. We started talking about how do we handle this water shortage that's coming. I was saying in the dream that we're not going to be able to store water for as long as we need to store it. And I told them we're really going to need to come up with a way to store something that we can hydrate ourselves with. And I was talking about maybe some kind of biblical wine. And in the dream, they were saying, well, we don't know for sure. We've heard stuff like this before that this is coming. And I said, in the dream, if it doesn't come and we store up water and food, then we'll have water and food. There's no problem there. But if it does come and we don't have stored water and food, we could be caught in a very negative situation. And then I woke up in the middle of talking to them. And so this is the very interesting part. This is the part that really blew my mind, really, is I'm like 1% ceramic. So my first thought, I'm looking on my phone because this is where I just, I wrote it down on my phone and then I started chatting with ChatGBT. And the first question I ask is, is there a water company called 1% ceramic or something along those lines? And then I said, maybe some other name but something similar. And so Chad B GBT said, there doesn't seem to be a water company specifically named 1% Ceramic. However, you might be thinking of companies that utilize ceramic technologies in water treatment. So I start looking into this, what in the world is ceramic technologies? And so it all has to do, in short, it all has to do with the filtration system of water. And, you know, this is just the research I got on chat GBT. I'm absolutely no expert in this. I've never heard anything about ceramic technologies for water filtering or anything, obviously. You probably haven't either, or maybe a bunch of people know about this that I, I'm unaware of, but I had zero clue about this stuff. This is where it starts to really get interesting. So I'm looking in, I'm researching, and I find out there is probably somewhere around 12 or so different types of ways that we filter water. And then... I was looking into, but ceramic technologies, there's not as many of them. There, it's a growing technology, but there's issues with, it's, very, it's a very great technology as far as filtering the water. However, it's higher cost and it takes longer for the water to get filtered. And so this is when I ask, I ask chat GBT, I said, even though it may be unlikely is there a specific scenario that could possibly happen that could cause us, particularly in America, where we have to rely solely on ceramic filters? Maybe with other filters too, but ceramic filter being the primary filter that we have to use to, for our water. And this is what ChatGBT said. Said, while it's unlikely, there are certain scenarios that could potentially make ceramic filters the primary method for water purification in america wow here are a few examples i don't know about you but this blows my mind <laughs> widespread chemical contamination industrial accidents or environmental disasters and it lists after the reasons why that ceramic 
membranes may have to be the primary source for if something like this happened, widespread chemical contamination, industrial accidents or environmental disasters, nuclear fallout or radiological contamination, a nuclear disaster, any kind of radiological material occurred, uh, ceramic filters could be crucial. Also, waterborne pathogen outbreaks, long-term infrastructure damage. And so the pros, it says, for the ceramic filters is that it can be used on a wide range of contaminants and it's very effective at fighting these type microorganisms and different stuff. And it has a long lifespan and can be cleaned and reused. The limitations is that it takes a longer time for it to filter. It has a higher cost and it needs cleaning and maintenance, regular cleaning and maintenance. So it says in conclusion, while it's unlikely that America could rely solely on ceramic filters for water purification, certain extreme scenarios could make them the primary, could make them ceramic filters the primary method in America for water. And so I look into this and there's one more thing. I'm going to, there's two more parts of this that for me are very powerful. One, Revelations 8. I knew the scripture in the Bible. I looked it up, Revelations 8. 10 through 11 it says the third angel sounded the trumpet and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water the name of the star is wormwood the third of the waters turned bitter and many people died from the waters for they had become bitter this verse if it came to a reality it says the waters were poisonous and bitter It could be ceramic filters, the only thing that purifies these waters. And if that were so, God would be giving a warning that there's a possibility in the dream, because in the dream, as we were talking, there was still a possibility that it wouldn't happen in exactly the time frame we were thinking, or we wouldn't need to use the water reserves that we had or the wine reserves or whatever we used to hydrate ourselves, And so in the dream, there was still that possibility, but also the dream was saying that very soon there could be a water shortage where we would be having access to only 1% of the current water that we have right now in America, specifically. This was an American grocery store in American America in the dream. 1% of the water that we currently have would have been filtered and it would it could be because it had to be filtered by these ceramic filters and the ceramic filters were slower although they were very effective they were slower and there's not as many ceramic filtration companies because of the cost of how they're done and it could take a while to build more so there could be a period in America where water becomes scarce and they got to build up new filtration systems to filter contaminated water for different reasons. Now, this revelation verse was just something that came to my mind. It wasn't a part of the dream, and it's not necessarily a part of the interpretation of the dream, but it did come to my mind, and it could be a number of different things. But for me, this was absolutely radical, and I had another dream I'll share in another video about Walmart and how a coming food shortage and how Walmart played a part in this thing, which was also pretty crazy. If you got any ideas on how to store water long-term for a long period of time, 10 to 100 years, or some type of liquid that you could hydrate yourself, let me know in the comments. God bless you guys. I pray you have a wonderful day.